The greatest Armenian dramatist is Gabriel Sintukian. He was born in Tbilisi. He received his early education in a special school where he learned Italian, French, and Russian. In 1846, he was accepted at the Cadet University of St. Petersburg Faculty of History. This university played a big role in the shaping of his mind as a writer. He was a regular at the Alexander and the Mikhailo theaters, and at the meantime, he studied the dramas of Gogol, Ostrovsky, Moliere, Scheller, Shakespeare, and Dumas. In 1880, Sandukyan returned to Tbilisi and worked in the governor's cabinet as a translator. He was in constant discord with a government bureaucrat, therefore he was exiled to Drebend by the governor. He returned from exile in 1858 and started working as a civil servant in the Committee of Caucasian Railways, where he worked until the end of his life and was awarded the title of Civil General. He died in 1912 in Tbilisi. His first work was called The Sneeze of the Night Brings Good Luck, written in 1863. It is a one-act comedy. The main character is Oskar Petrovich, who is trying to marry off his daughter using different schemes. This work was followed with a play of similar subject written in 1866 called Katapala, which encompassed larger social circles. The characters of this play discuss the traditions and customs of the society and try to justify their moral path. In almost all his plays, Sundukyan raised moral and conscious issues. For example, Sundukyan sends his hero Oskan Petrovich, the main character of The Sneeze of the Night Brings Good Luck, to hell where he meets the villains of Sundukyan's other plays who have been confined to hell by heavenly bodies. The setting of One More Victim play is the family life and the subject is about love and marriage. Mikhail and Ani are two educated and intelligent people who are in love and want to get married. However, their parents have other plans. After many fights and great struggle, the parents win since they are the ones with money and power. Although he named most of his plays comedies, in reality, they are social psychological dramas, such as The Broken House, which was written in 1872. In this drama, the interest of Osep and Parser collide, and a fierce struggle begins between the two. At the end, the winner is the influential Parser, who confiscates all of Osep's wealth. After The Broken House, for almost more than a decade and a half, Suntukyan did not write dramas. In 1888, he wrote the married couple's comedy, and after another decade of intermission at the last stages of his life, he wrote three more comedy plays, The Bath Sack, which was written in 1907, Love and Freedom, 1909, and Will, 1912. The subject of all three plays deal with family and family relationships. However, the best work of Sundukyan is the comedy Peppo, which is not only expression of his talent as a writer, but it is a great artistic contribution to the history of play and drama. Peppo was written in 1870. This play was dedicated to the great actor of the Armenian theater, Kevort Chmishkian. The central subject of this play is the conflict between the fisherman Peppo and the tradesman Zimzimov. Suntukyan presents life as a comedy in this play where the conflict ends with the victory of moral Peppo over the immoral Kevork. This is a complete artistic creation where Suntukyan proves himself as a master of the stage and applies the colors of Tbilisi to his heroes with great skill. His plays are distinguished by their meaningful soliloquies and dialogues, distinctive and psychologically complete characters, and dynamic scenes.
The first actors to give life to Sundukyan's characters were Kevork Chumushkyan, Satanik Chumushkyan, Ketevan Aramian, Kevork Tertavtian, as well as Poros Araxian.